hey what's up welcome back to my channel today i have another thrift haul this was a pretty long thrift haul so i divided it into two separate videos the one that is dedicated to only the shoes portion should be posted up on my channel right now and today we're going to go through the rest which is quite a lot we have jeans dresses skirts shorts and like my previous thrift hauls this one's going to work the same off to the side i will have an information card letting you know all about the performance of each item i'll tell you where it sold how much it sold for how many days it was up for sale but on this thrift haul i am also going to go ahead and include my cost of goods just so that you know how much i'm paying for each of these items and so you can get a better feel of what you should be paying when you're out shopping so let's get started with the skirts first the first one that i picked up is this nike golf skirt and this is like a bright pink i don't think you'd call it hot pink and it has the double buttons and they're actually skorts so they have shorts underneath back pockets and the nike logo right there i haven't sold too many golf and tennis type skirts but i've been picking them up lately to kind of get a feel for what they can actually sell for and if they sell quickly the next skirt is a seven for all mankind skirt with the raw or frayed hem in the back it has pockets it's also a button fly closure so it has buttons all down here this is a size 25 in the past seven for all mankind stuff flies off the shelves for me so i'm hoping that this one will do good since we are in the summer months the next skirt is a light wash skirt nothing too special there's no frayed hem no button fly or anything so it's pretty simple and this one is by the brand j jill this one is a size 16 stretch, so that's the only thing that it has going for it. It's kind of like a plus size skirt. And J. Jill, I don't have too much experience with it, but with the experience I do have, I'm thinking that it will do well. Now for shorts, I have these Bermuda shorts by the brand Cut From The Cloth, K-U-T. It will say on the tag, and here is the tag on the back as well. So I like that the stitching was thick when you're running out of time at the thrift store and you want to go through a aisle really quick. Jeans is one of the good ones because you can just scan through either the jeans or like the jean short section and you can look for some that have the thick stitching. Most of the time those are the ones that are worth money. So that's what caught my eye about this. As for the brand, I'm not too sure. I think I've had like two pairs of jeans of cut from the cloth before. And if I remember correctly, they sat for a long time. So I haven't been picking up this brand much, but they are Bermuda shorts. They have the thick stitching going on. So I hope they do well. I guess I ended up mixing the skirts with the shorts. So we're going to be going over both, I guess. This one is a, an Adidas tennis skirt. As I said, I want to be trying a lot more of this to see how it goes. And I think these are skorts as well. Yes, they have shorts underneath too. And they are a size large, so a bigger size, which is good. Next up, we have a Liz Claiborne Maxi jean skirt. And it has the double button zipper closure off to the side. And this one is a size 8. And this is what the tag looks like, Liz Claiborne. So this, I had a maxi blue jean skirt by this brand before, and it sold for $20, I think, and it sold in a decent amount of time. I also had a plus size Liz Claiborne yellow dress that sold really well, but then I've also had Liz Claiborne stuff sit for me, so it just really depends on the style. I'd look it up if you find something by that brand, look it up and see how it's doing. The next skirt we have is by j jill so again still experimenting with this brand and this one is a size 10 and it is like a what you call this teal i'm not sure and it has like embroidery lace detail it's like a stack skirt and the thing that bought me into it like after i saw that it was 100 percent linen 
that's when I decided, okay, this is coming home with me. Once you start shopping a lot more, you'll be able to kind of look through the racks and after you feel the fabric, you can tell that it's linen. So that's what attracted me to this skirt in the first place. I felt that the quality was good. I checked, it was 100% linen and then it was J. Jill, which is not a bad brand. So I picked it up. Now let's talk about jeans. The first pair are going to be these BKE Stella jeans. BKE seems to perform well most of the time. And again, it has like the thick stitching. It's like just some Western type jeans with a little bit of distressing. And then we have Miss Me jeans, size 28. So they're a little bit of a larger size and they are mid-rise boot cut jeans. They don't have flat pockets. I think when they have flat pockets, it adds a little bit of value to them but they do have like this leather trim on the cross. And Miss Me is always marked up so high at my thrift store. So it really does not leave that much room for profit. But what I like about Miss Me is that most of the time they flip within days or no longer than a week. So I get it for the quick flip more than the high profit. Here I have some Habitual by Tory Burch or for Tory Burch. That's what the tag looks like actually found these at Plato's Closet the other day on a clearance rack, so they weren't that expensive. They have the Tory Burch type logo in the back pockets. They are dark wash, and they seem to be like either straight or boot cut. They're in decent condition. They just have a little bit of stepping here at the end, but I don't think that that'll take too much of the value away from it, and I expect these to do good. And these I also found at Plato's Closet, Joe's Jeans. It's been a while since I've picked up Joe's Jeans. I haven't found it lately at the thrift store, but at this Plato Closet I did, and these are awesome because they have like some patchwork going on. They have the raw hem. They had like some staining in the back, but I added some of that um, grandma's stain remover type thing and then threw it in the washer and it actually came off. So this is what the back looks like. It has like some offset type pocket details going on. Joe's jeans always seem to do well and to sell fast. So I expect those to do good as well. Next pair of jeans we have is a J brand jean. J brand does not look like much. Look at the back pockets. They're so simple. Everything is so simple. But I've picked up this brand once before and I remember it doing pretty well that I was surprised. So when I saw this at Plato's Closet, I went ahead and picked it up and it wasn't that much since they were 70% off. The legs look really good. Everything looks in excellent condition. Then we have Lane Bryant Simply Straight Jeans. So Lane Bryant and Torrid is a plus size brand and I love picking up their jeans and pants. Sometimes tops, I'm still experimenting with which ones tend to do better and can sell for more money. But plus size jeans, when they're like in a trendy style, like boyfriend cut or skinny, stretchy, something like that, they often seem to sell pretty good. And I thought these fit that category. So they are straight. They have the little fading going on here. The back pockets are nice. They have a little bit of embroidery. Let's see how these do. Then we have Levi's, and these are the 712, no, 721 high rise skinny jeans in size 32. They're in perfect condition, light wash, and they have the little fray at the end. I'm not sure if they came this way or somebody made them this way, but Levi's tend to always sell for me when they're like in this type of style, when they have the patch in the back. Sometimes they do take a while to sell, up to two months maybe, but they always seem to do okay. And what I like about Levi's is that most of the time my thrift store does not price them up. They seem to not give that much value to Levi's, so most of the time they're anywhere from 2 to $5. And then we have another pair of Miss Me, and these are boot cut, I'm sure, size 29. And they have studded back pockets, light wash with a little bit of fading, the bottoms have a little bit of wear but not too much and again these are good for fast flips next up is this cargo dusty blue pants by the brand cole i'm sure that's how you'd say it k-u-h-l 
on Poshmark when they do their little parties and you look at the brands that are accepted in those parties, this is one of the brands that's named there. So for a while I've been on the lookout for this brand because most of the time if they're adding brands to parties, that means that they are desirable and to be on the lookout for them, at least in certain styles. And I'm sure that this cargo tight pants will do well. The next pair of jeans are by the brand Diesel. It says Diesel Industry. I know Diesel is a good brand to be on the lookout for, but I'm not sure if Diesel and Diesel Industries is the same thing or not. And I was trying to do research on it, but as of lately, I try not to spend too much time looking up things at the store, just because the faster I move, the more things I can pick up. So I just went ahead and picked them up anyway. Hopefully they are what I think they are and that they end up doing well. Next up, we have a Gap and they are some extra small jogger pants they have like the cinched bottom down here not too long ago i went to visit my mom in oklahoma she cleans houses for a living so a lot of the time people will give her free clothes and then she'll give them to me so that i can sell them on poshmark so i look through all those bags and try to keep the things that i think will sell and then donate the rest in those bags there was a pair of these but in khaki and they had a lot more wear to them and they still sold for ten dollars so these were cheap and they're in great condition and what i'm noticing is that active jogger type pants something that other than leggings seem to do well i don't know about the size because it's extra small would have been better if it was like a medium or a large maybe i'll sit on them for a little bit but i hope that they end up selling at at least 15 dollars next pair of jeans are another bke stella jean so this brand is sold at buckle along with like miss me jeans the western type jeans and these are actually like faux flat pockets so they look like flat pockets but they're actually not flat pockets they have the thick stitching going on they do need a little bit of a steam so i'll get around to that but that's what those look like next up in the pants category we have spanx and spanx is definitely a brand you should be on the lookout for these are in size 2x they have like a wide panel at the top I was unsure about this color. It's kind of like a faded black. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be or if, you know, someone washed them too much and that's how they ended up being. But since they were Spanx, I've only found them once before. I could not leave them behind. They have like a wide leg down here. And now we have some more Seven for All Mankind jeans. And they are the Dojo flip flop style. This is what the back pockets look like. And these are in okay condition. In the pant leg, they do have like this line here from I guess when they iron it and fold it. But I'm going to try to steam it to make that look better. And these I definitely expect to do well anyway. And the size is a 28, which is a decent size as well. Next up, we have some work dress type pants by Banana Republic. That's what it looks like. Many dress pants could actually sell for very good money. So I wanted to go ahead and give these a try because Banana Republic is always like $1.50 to $2 at the thrift store. So this could be potential to make a decent amount of money. Next up, we have the brand Hudson. Hudson jeans seem to sit for a long time, but a lot of the times when they do end up selling, it's for full price, my full asking price. So I went ahead and picked these up. I got these at Plato's Closet. This is what the back pocket looks like. And they are the style Byron and they are size 28. They also have that little red stripe detail here in the front. They look like they're like a straight leg in a medium wash. And these I also found at Play-Ups Closet in the 70% off clearance section. And they are by the brand Rag and & Bone. That's what they look like. I found Rag & Bone twice at the thrift store before. The dress ended up selling pretty well. The top that I found sat for a while, but it ended up doing okay. So I wanted to give the jeans a try. They're like a super skinny type jean. And they are a smaller size at a size 25. Most of the time smaller sizes seem to sit longer, but I hope that they do well. Also at Plato's Closet in the 70% off clearance, I found this Free People lace or crochet type sweater. It is a waffle knit and it has like a rounded hem down here. 
It was just a very simple sweater, but it was super cheap, so I went ahead and picked it up. And then this is also a waffle knit sweater shirt type thing. It has balloon sleeves, and this is in the brand MG, size medium. MG always sells pretty quick on Mercari. Maybe it doesn't sell for a lot of money, but it sells quickly. And again, my thrift store does not price up MG, so whenever I find unique pieces like this, I go ahead and pick them up. The next top is by the brand Fabletics. Fabletics always sell pretty quick. The leggings do at least. The top, sometimes they seem to sit for a while. This one is like a mesh see-through top. The next top is by Free People as well. This is just a basic floral tank top. Nothing too much going on, but it was cheap and I wanted to add more blouses and summer tops to my closet. So I went ahead and picked that up. The next one is also by Free People. It's just a basic black tank, kind of like a flowy style, and it has a little tie detail up here. The next top is by the brand Eileen Fisher. So this caught my attention because it's new with tags. For a while, I've heard Eileen Fisher is an okay brand to pick up. And then this is also like a silk blend top. I don't really like it much kind of iffy the style the color and all of that but because it was new with tags it was Eileen and it's a silk blend and I don't think it was that much I don't think they priced it up too high I went ahead and picked this up we are in our final category we're moving on to dresses now the first dress I have here is by the brand O'Neill this brand I also saw it on Poshmark's party list and I looked it up at the store. I couldn't find this specific style of dress. It's more like a cover-up, I think, because it is kind of sheer. It is like a dress tunic cover-up thing. But because of the brand it was, because it wasn't that much, I wanted to go ahead and pick it up so that I can know how it performs so that next time I find it, I know more or less what to expect. Then we have another Free People dress. This is just like a Free People day, I guess. And again, that's what the tag looks like. And it is like a floral dress. It has like the crisscross straps in the back. And this is the front with a tassel tie in the front and that's what it looks like depending on the free people piece you get some of it can sell for pretty good money some of it can sell pretty quick and a lot of it can sit for a long time so i'm still kind of experimenting to see what i should pick up what i should leave behind but most of the time my store ends up pricing free people at a couple to four or five dollars so if i can get something price it low and move it quick that also works for me next up we have the brand Columbia. That's what the tag looks like, Columbia. And this is a Omni Shave Sun Protection Omni Wick dress. And it's like an athleisure type dress. I like the design on it. And I picked it up because I want to see how it does. I did quick comps. I don't even remember what the results were. More than anything, I just picked it up to try it out for myself. Next is this beautiful dress. It is a velvet dress, very soft, with a black mesh type material. It is by the brand Torrid, a size 1, so I think that means 1X. It has a cutout in the back, and it is just like a flowy dress. Torrid dresses seem to do okay with the pricing, and then they always seem to flip fast. So here I have another Torrid dress. And this one is a size 2, so that is like a 2X. They're like spaghetti sleeves, but they are pretty thick. And it looks like it's like a fit and flare type dress. I love the print on this. Perfect for the season we're in. So I really do think this one will sell and sell pretty quickly. Now this one I picked up on style alone. As I was looking through the dress sections, I felt it and it felt like good quality. So after looking further into it, I saw that it was linen. It's 59% linen and it is by the brand For Cynthia. It is a size large. It has like a cutout detail here. This is like a square neckline. It also has side pockets here and the bottom has like this mesh detail here on the hem. So I thought that it had a lot of things going for it 
and I hope that I can get a good picture of this because I think that'll help it sell a lot faster. The next dress I have here is by the brand French Connection. It is a size medium and this is kind of difficult to show. Um, it's kind of hard to get the structure of it but essentially these are the spaghetti straps. This will hang down as a cow neck and then in the middle there's like a waist tie. It is polyester all over and it is a maxi long flowy dress so i like the color of this i have another french connection dress that is in my closet right now it was apparently worn by taylor swift i added that picture to my listing it hasn't sold yet but i'm hoping that it will sell soon it does have decent attention but i wanted to go ahead and give this one a try it seemed pretty unique I have good experience with French Connection sweaters in the past, so hopefully that one does good. The next maxi dress is by the brand Maeve, if I can find the tag. Here it is. Maeve in a size medium. So this one has like the multicolor top going on or the color block with the, what is this, like a cream, then the blue, and then it has like a long black skirt at the bottom with a big slit on the side as well so yeah again maxi dresses i always go through that section even in the winter time because they seem to have a good selling price there's a lot of room for profit with maxi dresses then we have a j crew maxi dress and this one is a white and blue striped dress it has a cinched waist and again just very long all the way to the floor and it has side slits on the side here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this kind of content. In the comments below, let me know if you do. If you have suggestions for future videos, leave those in the comments as well. And for more reselling content, check out the playlist that's on your screen right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all for me today. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.